What is up everybody, this is your host Supersite and welcome back to another video of Heyday And I have no idea how long I'm gonna do this, I'm just gonna go along But in this one I decided I'll do a purpose video So I'm actually gonna have like a, a wee like a few tips around it uh, Anyway, today's one it was a viewer suggested And I apologize, I forget which viewer suggested it But anyway, they said to do it about like Barn management, like what things should I store in my barn and that kind of stuff So I'm gonna be answering that this video now I did do a video ages ago called like valuable things to keep um, That that was semi relevant to like, you know links in with this, uh, but it, it wasn't directly, you know Well, it kind of was anyway. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do some some plan I'm going to talk about that and yeah, we'll see how we go from there. So I'll put the the sim corn up. We need to sell off some of this stuff. What sh what should we sell? We can do some eggs. Uh, although actually, if we can get one of those, boom, we can sell ten of those. Well, try to sell ten of those. So boom, we'll put that, and then we'll put it on ten. Now we can go in the daily awesome dirt. So we'll tap here, and we'll go through here. And there's some cheap carrots. So we'll go back for the carrots. Boom. Okay, can oh, okay, the carrots are sold. That looks cool though. Uh, okay, moving on through. And seeing if there's anything else that we can indeed. Oh, some of this. Very nice. Oh, okay. No, not either. Um, no. Hmm. <clears throat> anything else? Oh, right here, maybe. Oh, there we go. We actually got something. Tap, tap, tap. There we go. Boom. Um, anything else so that we can get? No? Okay, that there will do. That will do. That was, a, that was a good find. A good haul. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go over to here. Uh, but also, this video is going to be primarily gameplay, but I will talk about the garden stuff a little bit. Okay, anyway. The Wheel of Awesome. Let's give it a spin and see what we get. So we'll, we'll see. One day, one day I'm going to get the triple jackpot. That's my goal. That's, that's, I, I got to get the triple jackpot. Okay, um, a bagel. There we go. We'll take a bagel. Uh, also, I've done the first bagels over here for other bagels or veggie something. Uh, anyway, for the first time ever, I've made two of them. So what are they called? Yeah, they are bagels. Okay, there we go. So we got bagels. I love that word, bagel. Okay, anyway, um, so we got this. Can we do that? Hmm, no, we won't do that. So we'll get rid of these. Okay, there we go. And we'll come through here and we'll do this. Uh, I've got my iPad in a case while I'm doing this video, uh, which makes it actually harder to play. I probably should have taken it out of the case, but anyway, it's in the case now, so we'll leave it in the case. Boom. Um, We need some more corn to sell off. I mean, we need to sell off some more corn. Okay, sell that off, sell that off. Although, we'll leave a couple of spaces in case we need some barn stuff to get. Okay, there we go. Coming through here, coming through here. Like so. Boom. Boom. And boom. Okay, let's go on to this here. So we got our barn here. We got our awesome looking barn. Mine holds 2,400 and uh, many of you there might seem a lot, but there are indeed a ton of players that have way more. I'm happy it is as much as it is, but I'm always hoping to expand it because it's always full. Uh, with some players, the maximum is 15,000. It used to be 12,000, but it was increased, although many players operated a less than 1,000 barn storage. But if you operate efficiently, it's all good because, yeah, yeah, because since you need uh, so many things, Things to upgrade. Uh, I mean, but down there at, at the lower barn levels, like the lower barn size, you don't need as many, so it's not as much as an issue. So, barn management is a is a good skill to have. So, what things should you keep? Now, if you look at mine, as you can see, I've got heaps and heaps of these. Now, this here is, I'd say, I don't do this. I've sort of have done it as a YouTube thing. In regards, to I'm considering one day doing a video in which I do like hundreds of these, like as a thing. I don't know, maybe. But don't keep heaps of these. Like, get, keep some of them. And also, one thing, uh, keep the the ones if we come over here the ones to the left so the pickaxes are the ones you want to keep so if you have the option of keeping a dynamite or a pickaxe choose the pickaxe because it's what the the potential it has to extract ore for you so for example the potential of dynamite it can only extract you two so if you have 10 dynamites the the potential ore you can get from it is 20 uh, or in counting towards the tasks is 20 whereas if you have just 10 pickaxes the potential it has is 50 because well, it's like it's, it's potential, but it's, it's true as well. So it'll give you 50 ores as well as contribute to 50 tasks. So keeping a whole heap of... Uh, you might not have unlocked uh, this stuff yet. But keeping a... I'm not sure if they unlock all at the same level or not. But keeping a few pickaxes and shovels doesn't hurt. Um, but if, for example, you need ore, always use them. Always use them. If you need ore, just use them. Don't don't worry about saving them. And there's no actual big reason to save them. There is a, the, the smaller reason is some of the derby tasks are the ore ones. So if you if you want to store a few of these, but I've taken it to the extreme, and that's just for YouTube reasons, not for actual reasonable reasons. So, yeah, uh, although it's a reasonable reason to do it in terms of making a video. But for the average, for any given player, the average player you're watching right now, there's no need to store all these. You, you know, a few of them for derby tasks and whatnot, but that's about it. So you don't need to store these. These here, the bars, um, 
they, I tend to find them quite helpful to have because you can then upgrade, you know, for the jeweler and that. But that comes later at like level 40s and that, and the personal train, and well, level 30s, uh, in which you can use to upgrade. So they are somewhat helpful to store some of them. The 100%, the key things you want to store most of them importantly are uh, indeed, why do I keep tapping on that? It's really annoying. Okay, are these things here? The, the SEM stands for Silo Expansion Material. So the, the nails, the screws, the wooden panels, the bolts, the planks, and the duct tape. So you want to keep them at all costs. You want to have store the other things that you like never want to sell at all. You don't want to sell them at all costs. You can potentially trade them. Trade them is, is completely fine if you have too many of them. Like if you have, for example, let's say you needed 80, 80 of each thing to upgrade your your... No, let's make it more simple. Let's say you needed 10 of each thing, right? And you had uh, 10 bolts, 0 planks, and 20 duct tape. Now, it would be good for you if you can, potentially within neighborhoods or on Discord or Reddit or whatnot, trade 10. I'm not sure if you can still do it on Reddit. I don't know um, if that's accurate or not. Sorry, I would just... Don't, maybe read it, but you, you can find that out for yourself. But definitely Discord. Um, anyway, or, or even the... Okay, yeah, moving on. So then, you, of course, you want to trade. So you, you want to trade. But you never want to sell these off. Never, ever, ever. Unless you absolutely have to and can't find someone to trade. Or if they're filling up your barn and then you can't buy anything else because you're completely full of just these kind of things. So you don't want to sell them off. Another thing that you generally don't want to sell off uh, is these here. The land deeds, the mallets, and the marker stakes. Because you want to use them to uh, unlock your farm. I've unlocked all that part of my farm. So you want to use them. So ideally, you don't want to sell them off. You want to keep them if you can. But again, these ones here are the primary ones. These are more important. But those other ones, the land ones, expansion ones are nice. Limbs is what they are called. Okay, so the other ones you also want to keep. Right, so we got that in there. Another few things, the axes and the saws. Ideally, ideally, you don't want to keep them. You want to be using them constantly. So as soon as you get them, you want to be planting. You want to plant in advance. You want to plant in advance. Plants lots of apple trees and lots of raspberry trees. They'll be the first ones you get eventually. You can see my other videos on which one's most profitable. But at the start, you want to do the apple trees and the raspberry bushes. You want to plant them when you know when you've just unlocked those two. And keep planting them and keep using all your saws and axes. You don't want to have idle saws and axes here, wasting your space in here. Like, it's okay to store them. Ideally, don't sell them. But you, the perfect situation is you have none in there because you want to constantly be using them. So, yeah, that's another thing. But don't sell them. Try and use them. Okay, that's that's with that. Um, so the the, the the key things, other things that potentially when, with the town, you might want to store some of these, you know, kind of upgrading the things for the town, but again, they're not crucial, they're not crucial, they're nice, but not crucial, uh, so yeah, um, then of course you've got the different things, these are, like for example, diamond rings, they're quite rare, and since I don't make them myself, because it uses a diamond, I don't want to use a diamond, I store them, so I can use them from just buying them and then using them, so that's potentially, but again, that's kind of high-ish levels, not completely, but that there, uh, is something you want to, yeah. So then you have, okay, so you the, these are the real cool rare kind of products. Then you've got all these ones here. Now there's a mix of two different types of products, what I call. You've got the ingredient products and you've got the final products. Now ingredient products, this is what I've de deemed them. It's not an actual official thing. Um, ingredient products are products you use as part of an ingredient to produce something else. The likes of wool is an ingredient product because it's used, if we come over here, if we come over here, it's used in the production of, like, blue sweaters or, like, well, uh, blue woolly hats. So, ingredient products, especially ones that you actually use regularly to produce stuff, you want to, idea like, again, you want to, the key things you want to, you know, of course, uh, have these are these. And so, if you if you need to sell stuff off, you'd sell off the ingredient products. But, prime, you keep these no matter what. But if you have spare space... It's fair enough to store ingredient products. So, for example, the likes of also goat milk is used in producing cheese. And other things are produced in different things. The ores can be produced. But you don't want to store too many ores. You want to have them... Yeah, it's better to have the ores as in pickaxe form rather than an ore form. Because for every one pickaxe, you'd have to store five ores. So it's easier to just get the ore when you need it, not have heaps of it filling up your barn. Okay, so there's that. Um, another ingredient one, uh, also feed. You want to use that. It's like the axes. You want to use it immediately. Uh, but again, it's not bad to have in your barn. Uh, other things, I'm just trying to find another... Cookies can be used, if we come over here, and uh, cheesecake. So that is an ingredient product, but only if you make cheesecake, because I think that's uh, cookies only use. But so the other things that are potentially things you want to save. But things like the likes of strawberry ice cream or apple pie or toffee... 
there's almost no reason to have them in your barn if you don't need them there. Like, you want to have maybe a few, if, if you have the room, it's okay to have a few, so then you can do, uh, and again, I say, it's okay to, as in from my view of what's the best way to most efficiently play Heyday. Of course, if you want to have, if you want to fill your barn up completely with stuff I completely say don't fill it up with, that's completely up to you. There's pro you probably wouldn't be watching the video if you don't like any of the uh, strategies I suggest in Heyday. But the fact that you're watching this video probably means you're interested, so therefore I'm saying what I do from my perspective. So this year, for example, ingredient product, you want to keep those if you've got room. But again, if you... But uh, yeah, coming back to these. So these are what I call non-ingredient products, the finished products, the final products. They've got no use in producing you anything further. The only value in them is selling them in the roadside shop or to visitors or to the boat. I don't recommend using them on the boat or visitors generally. Uh, but the town visitors are a different story. Town visitors, when they request these, I highly recommend you give them to them. Uh, that's the one thing. That's the main thing. That's the primary thing I store these for, to give them to the town visitors. But other than that, I sell these things. Hence, we, as you'll probably notice, whenever I get to 10 of something, I sell it off. Because it's like, I don't, I've don't. i got too much of it. So, for example, the next thing I'll probably sell is chocolate or cherry jam. Because it's like I've got 10 of these finished final products that are ready to make me coins or XP or whatnot. And it's like, I do, I've got a lot of them so I can afford to sell them off. And so then the next thing I'd sell off are those kind of things. Because um, uh, sometimes things are really rare, like honey and raspberry candles. So I don't like selling them off because they're so rare. But, for example, like cherry popsicles, 26. I don't need 26. No visitor's going to request 26. The final products, I can't use them in anything. So right now I'm going to go to my daily dirt. And if I have to choose something to sell off because I've got too much space. Because you want to have always at least 10. So when you go on the daily dirt... If you see something that there's 10, you can buy it. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to be like, you know what? I've got too many. I'm going to sell them off. Boom. And I still have over uh, 10. So I, I, you don't really normally need any more than 10 of any given, like, finished product. So again, we can sell this off. Boom. Again. So there we go. We'll sell. Wow, there's people already in there. Oh, and someone bought all this, which I'm kind of happy with, but they bought the ad, so I'm a little bit annoyed with. Boom. So we'll sell that off, and we'll do this over here, and we'll do that right there. Boom, and so therefore now I have more space again, so I can go to through the daily dirt, but I didn't need all of those cherry popsicles. Oh, there's a there's a screw right there. So that, okay, we'll do, do that, okay, and then we'll come through here. Any other stuff, we'll grab those in there. Can we get them? Awesome. Okay, so we'll come back here, checking through here, checking through here. Any other stuff that I can buy, some more corn like there, very nice. Boom, again, I'm buying and selling all this to make me lots and lots of coins from doing so. Boom, we'll tap that. Oh, we'll get three nice blue vouchers, very nice. Oh, you're coming through here, this one right here. Tap, 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 tap. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, I think that's most of them done. Okay, so there we go, come back here. So yeah, that is basically an overview of what to keep and what not to keep in your in your barn. So I hope it's been helpful. I don't know. I could I could go into more specifics, but basically I've covered the basics. You want to keep these things. You don't want to keep 10 or more of finished products, generally generally you can su survive with just 5 of them like 8 is generally excessive because the town visitors never request that many um, you also, if you've got room, you can hold uh, non-ingredient products such as like cream and uh, you know milk and stuff like that because they'll be used but again, 13 cream is getting a bit on the high side so I can't afford to sell another 10 of them off. Ideally you want to keep the land ones as well if you can, if you can again, the you know these ones, the Bems and Sems are the key ones but if you have more room you can afford to hold some of the land ones until you upgrade uh, and also some of the jewelry if you find it really hard to find in the daily dirt that's because uh, then you can do the green truck orders with that these things because they help you with the personal train um, yeah that's that and also they're great for trading to help you with the personal train and if you get an imbalance you can trade them as well these yeah you want to store a few of them if you have room but they're not crucial and you definitely don't need as many as I have right there that takes almost half my space up uh, anyway that will wrap up this video. I hope you found it helpful. And yeah, I'll see you all next time for another video of Heyday.